Hey guys, a few videos back I did a products I'd like to use up in 2015 part one and after I got done filming that I realized there were a bunch of more products that I wanted to mention in my video that I had forgotten so I thought I would do a part two and I'm going to go ahead and do that right now and get it out of the way so that I can in the middle of the year kind of assess where I am, how many of these products I've actually used up and how I'm doing on my goals for using up these products that I'm worried about going bad. So honestly, most of the products that I want to use up in 2015 are cream products because I'm worried about those going bad before any of my powder products. So I'm going to go through some of the products that I want to use up and I hope to get through so that they're used up and they don't go bad and that I'm not wasting them my in my collection. So the first thing that I want to get through is more of a number. I pulled a bunch of these out and these are the ones that I'm most likely to get through first, but I'd like to use up at least five of my eyeliners. So I have five that I have in my regular rotation right now here. So four of these are Urban Decay ones and then one of them is a Rimmel one. So this is my Rimmel nude liner that I use in my lower waterline pretty much every day. I'd like to get that used up. I've been using it every day for a while now, but I need to kind of get through that. And then I have these four eyeliners here. So I have Uzi, Black Velvet, Empire, and West from Urban Decay. And most of these are ones that I've had for quite a while. Black Velvet out of these is probably the newest ones. And I'm not going to limit myself to these four specifically, but I'd like to use up at least four of my Urban Decay eyeliners. West is the one that I've been using pretty much every day. That's a basic black. And then I know that I love Urban, not Urban, I know that I love Empire and Uzi. And then Black Velvet's okay. It's not my favorite, but it's just a basic black liner. So I'd like to use up some of those because I've had quite a few of them that I got together as 10 like in, I think it was like the Black Market set or something like that, and I got another one recently because they were on sale. Um, so I'd like to move out some of my older eyeliners for sure. Next up I have eye base type products. So I have three pencils at least that I would like to use up. I have the uh, Milani Shadow Eyes in Champagne Toast that I've been working on. This one I think I'll end up using up pretty soon here. I've been using this one pretty much every day and I like this one a lot, but I just want to use some of my cream products up and I have a bunch of these eye type pencils that I should go through. The next one that I would want to use up is this Rue Beauté Bright Eyes Jumbo Eye Pencil. I think I just bought this because I was trying to spend a certain amount. This one really isn't all that much product, realistically. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, and it is a smaller eye pencil than this other one. It is a very pretty champagne color, so I'm going to try to use up this first and then move into this one that I've had for a while. And then I'd like to use up my Milk Jumbo Eye Pencil from NYX. This one is probably one of my oldest eye pencils in my collection, um, and it's a fine eye pencil. I just, I don't know why I don't reach for these, but I have a bunch of these, so I'd like to use this up, this one up first, and then I'm going to go through some of my other ones. I'd like to also use up some of my pot eye bases. I found a way recently I can microwave them and it kind of revise them a little bit, but some of them I can tell are drying out more. So one that I have is this MAC Painterly Paint Bot Pot and I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's pulling away from the edges a little bit and it's starting to get dried out. There's a pretty significant dent in it because I like this one a lot. I just don't reach for it because I've been doing the eye pencils instead. So at some point this year, I'd like to use at least one of these up, if not more. Next up, I have highlighting face products. Whoops. The first one that I have is this Benefit Girl Meets Pearl. And this one is just like a pinky toned highlight. And I think I might try to mix this in with my foundations and things like that and see how that works. I don't know that you guys can even see that at all, but um, this one I've had for a while and I just don't reach for it as a highlight itself and I've been using my Benefit Watts Up as a regular highlight cream base. So this one I think I would like to try to mix in with my foundations and see how that goes. And the same with this one, this is the Benefit Sunbeam. I'm coming to realize that I just do not like these Benefit like nail polish type highlighters at all. Um, so I used up my Benefit, um, what one was it? I don't know, there was another one that I used up, High Beam, um, that I used up in my Project Pan, and this one I just hardly ever reached for. I think this one will be a good one for the summer um, because it's more of a tanny color, so mixing that in with my foundation and seeing how that goes. So those two I'd like to use up, use up at some point during this year. And then I also have two cream blushes. So I have my Stila um, Convertible Cheek and Lip Trio or whatever it is um, that I've been trying to use up that I'm using in my finished five by Cinco de Mayo that I'm trying to get at least two of those done. After I get done with those, I would like to work on these two cream blushes. So the first one I have is the more expensive one. This is the Tarte Tipsy Cheek Stain, which is a really, really pretty cheek stain. Whoops. I just don't reach for it very often. It's like a pretty orangey coral color. Ugh. And the consistency is definitely changing a little bit. It's not as good as it used to be. So I need to get some use out of this one soon before it goes really bad. I don't know. The top is kind of chunky. I may end up throwing this one out and not getting it used up. We'll see how that one goes. 
Um, but I'd like to at least get some use out of that one because that one was more expensive and I've hardly ever used it. And then the other one is this L'Oreal Magic, Sou Magic Smooth Souffle Blush in Cherubic. Cherubic? Cherubic? Um, which is just a really pretty natural color. I like this one a lot, actually. I just stopped reaching for it because I was trying to use up some other ones. So I'd like to use those two up. I worry that this one's just going to get thrown out. I don't know that this one's going to get used up. Eh, we'll see with that one. And then the last thing that I have in this round of products that I would like to use up is this concealer. This is the Revlon Colorstay Blemish Concealer in Fair. Um, if you guys can see it, there's a lot of holes in it. I've used a fair amount of this. Um... I want to try to pull the stopper out so I can get everything out of it, um, but I've had this one for a little while now and I should probably just use it up, and I have several concealers in my collection, so this is one that I'd like to use up, and I have another concealer in my purse right now that I'd like to use up as well. I think that one's like the Sheer Cover Concealer, which is actually pretty good, but I've had it for a while. I got it in a Birch Box or an Ipsy and I just don't tend to reach for it. So I'm gonna try to use it in my purse so that I can use it up there. So those are the products that I'm going to try to use up part two. And so at some point in the year, I will give you guys an update on how I'm doing on using these up. Um, if you follow my Instagram page, you will see products that I use up as I go through them there. I have a feeling that some of the ones that I mentioned in my last use it up video will be done in the next like month or so. And so you'll see it in empties video and you'll also see it there if you follow me there. Um, otherwise, I will give an update on how far I've gotten in some of these products at some point, I'm sure. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.